Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com. Today I'm quickly going to show you how to add some tasks in Google Calendar. Tasks are a great way to create lists on the fly. You don't have to create full events each time you want to add just a little thing that you need to do. So let's go ahead and take a look. If you take a look at my screen, I'm in my Google Calendar account. And the first thing that I need to do is I need to display my tasks calendar. So if you take a look at the left of your screen, you'll have a section called My Calendars. You might have to click the drop down arrow to the left of it to display the actual calendars. And you'll notice that there's one called Tasks. Go ahead and click on that calendar so that a color is being displayed to the left of it. And when you do that, you'll notice that on the right side of my screen, a list pops up that's called tasks and I can go ahead and I can just start adding some tasks to this. We're going to get into some more detailed uses of the tasks list in a minute here but let's just start adding a list. So let's say this is a shopping list that I, I want to create. I can just click in any line here and I can say I need bread. Take my caps locks off and then if I want to add another item I can just hit return or enter and I can say I want milk, I can do eggs and you can see I'm creating this list very very fast right now. So it's, it's super quick. Um, could add anything I want. Now I can also, once I've bought this item or finished this task, depending on what you're using it for, you can just click the checkbox to the left of it. So it'll say, okay, I want bread. I got bread. Now, and you can see it's crossed off my list. Now the whole point of this tutorial is say to how do we add this to Google Calendar? Okay, I've got my tasks over here, but I'm not seeing them on my calendar. Well, in order to do that, you actually need to add a due date to these tasks. So you can see I have this task called milk here. If I want to specify some more information about this task, I can click the arrow to the right of it, and you'll see that I have a field that now is displayed asking me for a due date. If I go ahead and click in this due date field and I choose Thursday the 19th, let's say it's today, you'll see that automatically right away this task is now displayed in my Google Calendar. I could add some notes if I wanted, so maybe I want skim milk. I actually don't like skim milk, but you know, maybe I do. And then if I just go back to my list, or whatever you'll see that now within my list it actually tells me my notes and if I were to click on this task in my calendar I can see that I want skim milk so um, that's how you can quickly add a task to Google Calendar now there's a couple other features I want to show you first of all is that maybe not all of your tasks lump into one list maybe you want to create multiple lists lists you can see that this list is currently called Anson Alexander 88's list if I go down here to this actions button actually I'm sorry scratch that not the actions button this list button over here to the right I can first of all I can rename this list so I can go ahead and call it grocery list okay so now my list heading has changed but I could also create a new list so now I could maybe create a general well, we'll call it general shopping list so this is a list that's not just for the grocery store I hit OK takes me to my general shopping list and if I want to go back to my grocery list I can click on the lists button again and select my grocery list and I go back. Now I could also move one of these items to my other list by clicking on the arrow next to it and hitting the move to list drop down and I can move it to my general shopping list. Go back to the list you see that it's no longer on my grocery list. If I go down to my list and I go to my general shopping list there is cereal. Again just to reiterate if I want to add this to my calendar I need to click the arrow to the right of it and specify a due date. So let's say this time I want cereal by Friday. I want it for Saturday morning on the weekend when I wake up. Click on the 20th, boom, cereal is now displayed in my calendar. Um, so that's how you can add tasks to your Google Calendar. One last thing I want to show you real quick because this is a feature that not many people know about but it will really help you save some time is I'm going to actually jump over to my Gmail account here and I want to show you that you can actually add tasks to Google Calendar through your Gmail account. So I'm just going to close out these things at the top so you can see more of my screen. Here I am in Gmail. If I want to add tasks in Gmail, I'm going to go to this drop down at the top left of my screen. I'm going to select the tasks section. And you'll see that when I do that, this little tasks pop up appears at the bottom right of my screen. And I actually have the tasks list that I just created in Google Calendar. So I could go ahead and I could start adding more things to this. I could say I also need pancake batter whatever whatever I want. So same list I had in Google Calendar. I want to add pancake batter to Google Calendar. Click to the arrow to the right. Choose my due date for you know Friday the 20th. Go back to my list. Quickly go over to Google Calendar. I might have to refresh here. Do a quick screen refresh. And there's my cereal. Oh, I'm not looking at my grocery list. Go to my grocery list. Boom. There's pancake batter in Google Calendar from Gmail. Real simple. Great way to save some time. Try it out. 
If you have any questions, comments, um, anything at all, leave it in the comments section here on YouTube or on AnsonAlex.com. Thanks for watching. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.